My son, that's the point. Why you gotta work 18 hours, sis? You, you like working 18 hours? No, you don't. You've been conditioned to like 18 hours, but you don't like 18 hours. Do you have a work husband? No, I don't have nobody to go work in this strictly work. They like me, but I don't pay them no money. <laughs> Come on, sis. Now, how do you dress when you go to work? I don't dress like this is a You know, with baggy stuff. I don't dress like this is a speech at all. Come on, sis. You say usually, but what I see you in, though, is your representation. Right. What you see me is my. Am I in skinny jeans? Hold on. Am I in skinny jeans? No. Am I here shirtless? No. So you see me in a modest, well taken care of, well groomed manner. Guess what? So when I say, hey, yeah, I'm in this work facility, in this workplace, I'm gonna be well groomed, I'm gonna be modest. You can believe it, but you have naked, sis. I'm at the beach. You shouldn't be half naked outside. Well, I'm sorry. It's the beach. I'll well, repent. Nah, don't say it's the beach. Read that. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 22. Was submit yourself. Unto your own husbands. Now give me First Timothy 5 and 1. So it said, wives, submit yourselves to your own husband. You may say, I don't have a husband. Well, guess who you need to submit yourself to? Your father. That's right. Sis, I just told you what the Lord said, but you say you ain't going to do it. So you're not. He said, submit yourself. Be submissive. Your husband. So he said, get one. Well, one need to come available when I get me. There's plenty of men that's available. No, they you hear this? Like Come on now. Come on. Nah. My brothers around me ain't sweet. Right. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking love. about. I got men that's around me that's about their community. Right. That's about their people. Right. That's about right. building. Nah, sis, you need to come to them. That's the American yeah. mindset. So, sis, you say he got to come to you. Yeah, he need to find you. Yeah. Guess what, sis? The man was not made for you. Bring it out. You was made for a man that said the Bible. What okay, you so think? You the internet, look on. No. Okay. I just told you how you find them, a righteous one. Wait. You can find a man right now. If you take that off right now and say, uh, you, well, hey. somebody going to take it. If you say, who want it? I'm telling you, at least, oh, at least two out of ten men going, all right, sure, I'll try. Like, Why? Ain't this ain't no game. But that's, in their mind, the way you offered it up so easy, yeah, it is a game. Anything that's easy is not valuable. Anything that's easy is not valuable. Guess what? You gotta put yourself in position so a righteous man can see you. Like, mm, okay, I see how she moving, I see how she talking, I see how she dealing. Then he can go to elder men and say, hey, I'm looking at, this is how it works with us. Hey, um, I'm thinking about so and so, what do y'all think? Can you tell me her reputation? Right. What's her reputation? Oh man, she lazy, you don't wanna mess with her. Oh man, she, uh, she, I know you don't see it, but she actually got a real bad attitude. That's right. Or she got anger Somebody problems. How do these men know that? Because you built with these men and now they can give a reputation. They can give a report about you to a man looking for you. All right. Oh, right? Give a Read. Report the him. book of First Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 8. Uh -huh. For the man is not of the woman. For the man is what? Is not of the woman. The man is not of the woman. Read. But. The woman of the man. But the woman was made from the rib of Adam. That's so she's of man. That's what woman means. Read. Neither was the man created for the woman. Listen up, Kim. Listen up, my sisters. Read that again for me. Neither was the man created for the woman. The man was not created for the woman. So when you say, well, he better find me. He needs to come find me. He wasn't made for you. But what? Read. But. The woman for the man. The woman was made for the man. Right. So guess what? You need to put yourself in position so a righteous man can find you, can at least see you and talk to other men. You got what I want for Timothy? Yes, sir. Five. Five and one. Yes, sir. Through two. So you need to put yourself in position to where men, righteous men, can give a report about you. Right? Just like everybody has a report, sis. You say, man, I'm going to tell them they report on me. I'm going to do this. Guess what, sis? Are you a secluse? Are you stick, just go to work and go home and nobody knows you, you have no family? Are you that or do you have family that you talk to regularly, that you may go to reunions with, that you may go to a cookout, spend some time with? I did, but most of them died. The people that I did that with, once they died, we don't really do family events anymore. Do you still hang out with your brother, his wife, your mother and father? Do you still communicate with them? Yeah, I talk to them today, but I don't really communicate with my brother because the person that he was righteous to, she uh -huh. had righteous back. Okay, well that, like I said, the house is meant to cover shame. So we already talked about your fathers, we don't wanna talk about your brothers, all right? I know, but guess what? 
my I sister, ho I, hold on. If you did not notice, subliminally, you have down all the black men in your life that's of a that's of a strong stature to you. Yes, that's what they did, but is that for you to tell the whole world what they I did? I don't care. It's what See? they did, and I don't like it. Why don't they? That it's what they did, they don't like it. Guess what, sis? When you say that, when you talk to a stranger, you tell them, oh, my daddy is this and my daddy is that. I ain't say my daddy. I'm just saying. You, you say your father cussed out your mama and this and that. Yes, that you said. My mom is nice and she submits to him. Yes, and you said that she submits to him even though he cussed her out and he That's treated her like this. Do. And you don't know why. Then you're talking about your brother's wife, which I don't want to get into. But these are men that's supposed to be instrumental in your upbringing and your protection and your guidance. Right. And this is how you speak about them. And this is how you, did you, hold on, did your father raise you? Yeah. I mean, you still here, so clearly you ain't starved to death. No. Clearly you must put some clothes on your body. Right. What you want from him? I you want, know, I want, I want, I want, I want him to show me how he's supposed to treat a female, not to show me that I don't want nobody to act like that. Guess That's what? what I'm saying. When you look at somebody, they're going to either show you what to do or what not to do. Right. So guess what? When you look at your father, does he have some good traits about him? Some things like, daddy, that's my daddy. Yeah, he had good traits. Yeah. He, he, and that whole, he worked. Right. And he, and he was able to take care of my mama. Right. So he has some good traits. Yeah. So you, when you look at a man, I need to find a hardworking man right. that's, going, that's willing to take care of me, willing to right. take care of the kids like my father, take care of me right. and my brothers and my sisters, right? And, his, and my mother, his wife. Then he has some negative traits. You may say... I don't know why your daddy cussed your mom out. You don't know if she cussed him the hell out. You don't know if she cheated on him. You don't know what she did, as far as you know. You want, what you want is a feminine soft man. That's what you want. Read. The book of First Timothy, chapter 5 and verse 1. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. Do what? Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. So early I told you. A woman would not leave her father's house until she was married to a man. And then guess what? Her last name, also known as her maiden name, would change to her husband's name. So she would change from her father's last name to her husband's last name. That will show she left her father's house to a husband's house, right? Now, you may not, you know, we said why submit yourself to your husband, right? You done moved out your father's house, you got your own house, you've been working, you work 18 hours, etc., right? So now, you still don't want to be lonely. No. Right. So, read this again for my sister. Rebuke, not an elder, uh -huh. but entreat him as a father. So you must find elders, righteous men like we read in Sirach 6 and 32 on down, that you can look to for elders with wisdom and then entreat them as fathers. Read. And the younger men as brethren. And then treat the younger men as brothers. Now, what's the importance of them being a father? I said before. They can give a reputation, a report about you. Hey, this is Sister Kim's reputation. Hey, she can cook. And she got a little temper. And she can throw down in the kitchen, though. And she does clean. She's always well-dressed. She's always neat. She smells nice. You know, she take care of things she needs to take care of. At the end of the day, you said that you don't want to be alone. That's what you said. You said that you don't want to be alone. Now, none of our sisters deep down really want to be alone. Now, most of the time, my sisters just don't have the answer on how do I not end up alone? Because what you saw, you saw an example that you didn't want to end up in with your mother, but maybe you didn't see the example of where you really want to be. All right? But the Bible has that solution. All right? Now, there's certain characteristics that your mother has that you really need to learn to glean from, right? That can help you not be lonely because your mother isn't lonely. She's been married right. 47 years. And she's not lonely. No. All right? So you can take those characteristics and then make tweaks or improvements to them so that you can not only not be lonely, but in addition to that, be happy at the same time. Right. Y'all going to be here on next Sunday. Don't bring my mama here. Well, we may or we may not. I don't know. I just got a couple quick scriptures for you because we got to head out. All right? Go back to Titus 2. Go back to Titus 2. I don't, I don't know if we ever got a chance to finish that. All right? Go to Titus 2. Start at verse 2 or 3. The book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 3. That age woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. All right? So the aged women, our mothers, our grandmothers. The Bible says that they're supposed to be in behavior, so their actions are supposed to be holy, which means thus saith the Lord. Read on. 
not false accusers, uh -huh. not giving too much wine. Right, not drunk, not gossipers, not all these things that a lot of our women are today. Read on. Teachers of good things. They must teach good things. Who are they going to teach them to? That they may teach the young women. You see that? The younger women are supposed to be learning from the older women. Your mother taught you some very, very valuable lessons that many sisters have not had that valuable instruction. Read on. To be sober. To love their husbands. To love their husbands. To love their husbands. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you what the Bible says about what your mother did. All right? Go to Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1. All right? Because my brother was making an excellent point. He said many women have gone through far worse than getting a stern talking to. Right. A couple of curse words yelled at them. Women then got killed right. by their boyfriends, by their husbands. They done got maliciously wounded. Right. So what is a stern talking to compared to so many worse things that could have happened? Right? And you said, what you said is that those things did not happen because your mother submitted to your father. Yep. That is a very, very valuable lesson. Right, right. And I'm going to show you what the Bible says. Read. Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Every wise woman. A wise woman. Build up her house. She's going to build up her house. She's going to see the problems in her house. And she's going to do something to fix the problems. Right. Right? She's not going to make the problem worse. And many women do that. With their mouth Because they don't know how to be quiet They don't know how to have comforting words in their tongue They don't know how to they, they see a little spark And the Bible says you can do one or two things with it You can blow on it Or you can spit on it And put it out Alright, finish that verse But the foolish pluck your fit down And that's what our, our sisters do today They pluck down their houses They're not building their man up When they man get angry they want to get angry. Right. When they man get loud, they want to get loud. When they man got something to say, she want to have something to say. Right? But what did it call a woman that do that? Read that last part again. But the foolish pluck your fit down with her hands. You see that, my sister? So the scriptures told you how to be a wise woman. Right. Your mother left you an example on how to be a wise woman. Right. And what you need to do, Sister Kim, is follow the wise example. That's right. What is Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Yeah.